This is part seven of how to make an iPod poster. Our final step is to draw the wires and the iPod so that they stand out as a beautiful, smooth, white object. We see those, we see the device, we see the logo, we connect the two, we're, we're good. There's two ways you can make these. There is a more difficult but expert way to do it, and that's with the pen tool. But if you don't have any pen experience using the pen tool, this really isn't the time to learn how to use the pen tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a combination of the pencil tool and the lasso tool. The most important thing is, is that we put these in their own layer, separated from everything else, so if we need to change them or adjust them, we can without damaging the rest of the image. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to pull the layer panel out here so you can see it really good. It'll be the top layer. We're going to make a new layer. So click on the new layer button here. We're going to name it iPod. Now we're going to draw the iPod in this layer. We're going to just follow the picture and we're going to take the pencil or the paintbrush. Well, let's use the paintbrush. We're just going to use a nice round brush, but that's not fuzzy. We're going to switch our foreground to white. We're going to zoom in. Let's use our zoom tool. Zoom in here. And then get our paintbrush. And we're just going to start painting and follow. And cover up and follow the picture where the iPod is. Now can you see how I'm doing a really sloppy job? It does not look good, does it? Ugh. So let's do it differently. We can use the paintbrush to fill things in, but I'm going to step backwards and undo what I did a couple times. Remember the lasso tool? Let's go back there. Let's get that polygon lasso tool. Now what, what you can do with this is you just click where you want to start and then you just start clicking. Click, 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 and you just start making your shape. It's going to be straight line segments, but iPod mainly is a lot of straight lines with just curved corners. So we're going to use this. And then we can fine tune and draw in what, what doesn't look quite right. So I'm clicking. Every place where I want it to stick, I click. And I'm going to keep doing this till I get back around to the beginning. You notice we're creating the illusion that he's holding this. We're not really There. All right, I came back to the beginning and it showed the little zero and it closed it. Now, um, I've got my iPod layer selected. I'm going to fill this with white. I'm going to go up here to the edit menu, tell the program to fill this selection with the foreground color, which is white. I think there's a white option here if you wanted to use that and say OK. Boom. Now we can look at this and if we wanted to clean this up a little bit, we could use our eraser. We could come in here and fine tune it to make it look a little smoother, more natural. That looks pretty good. Done. The iPod's done. Now let's make the wires. Make another new layer. Double click on the name and call it wires. Let's save what we've done. I'm going to make this fit in the window. 
Now, Mr. Fiesel doesn't have any headphones on, so I'm going to have to make up the wires, but I do want it to look kind of realistic. I'm just going to use a freehand pencil tool. I'm just going to select a pencil size, a number five. We want it kind of thin, and I'm just going to, it's going to come out of the iPod. It's going to go up. Ta da! And then I'm going to get in close to his ear with the zoom tool and I'm going to make an earbud. I'm going to make my pencil a little bit larger and make him a little earbud. Alright, I'm going to do Command-0 to fit it in the window. That earbud's pretty big. Let's make it a little smaller. I'm going to get my eraser. I'm in my wire layer, so all that's going to be affected is the wire. And we're just going to take a little off of that, because that was just a little too much. And get my pencil tool and get it back down to a 5 and connect that wire back on there again. Okay. I'm going to get in close to look at this one. All right, I need to just fine tune that and make it look realistic. Remember, this is a poster. It's going to be very large. We're looking at it from very small on our screen, but actually this is 24 inches wide. It's a very large picture. If we ask the program to show us in the view menu the actual print size, it would magnify it to the size it really is. You see how large it is? So all the little flaws are going to show up when it's printed. So we need to get in close and carefully cut things out and make our wires and things look realist, as realistic as possible so that we have a nice poster. If you don't like the wire, you can use your eraser or select the entire area that you want to get rid of with your rectangle marquee. Press delete key and it'll delete it and you can start over. Now this is your PSD file format. That means it has layers, the PSD format, which is Photoshop document, preserves the layers in your work, which is what we want. We want to be able to come back to this any time in the future and make changes to it. So we always want to keep it in layers. So we're going to save this as it is. But now we need one for the printer. To send it off to the printer, we're going to have to change the format and flatten it. So come over here to your layer panel. Let's do it right here. Go to your pop-up menu for the options of the panel and ask it to flatten the image. Say OK. Notice all the layers are gone. Now this is a critical moment. You must be careful when you save it. If you save it with the exact same name and the PSD format, you will replace it with this and it will all of your layers will be gone. So we need to be sure that we change the file name a little bit and the format when we save it. So we're going to do Save As. We're going to change our format to JPEG or ping, either one. Notice it automatically changed it on my file name right here to JPEG. And uh, at this point I could put in here print. So 
so I know this is for the printer. And then I'll save it. I want maximum quality. Now this JPEG will be sent to the printer for printing. Remember your resolution for the poster printer at our school is a resolution of 100 and it should be 24 by 36 inches. The color mode should be RGB, 8-bit channel, and you're good to go. Congratulations, you just finished your iPod poster.